beer review. Tonight we're coming at them with a limited release, Heavy Horse, Scotch Ale, Big Sky Brewery. Uh, we're not too unfamiliar with this brewery. There, We've had a few of these actually. They're, they're brewing some great beers up there in Montana, as we've said previously. But, uh, oh yeah, th these are definitely good beers. Uh, I'm really anxious to review this beer. We've had them before. So uh, let's go ahead and pop these and pour these. I believe they're a uh, 6.7. 6.7 APV. That's a, that's a really good APV if you really want to have a good beer that tastes good and want to you know have a, a good old guy's night. So let's go ahead and pop them. Definitely gets the job done. Definitely. There you go, sir. Not too much smoke that I'm seeing. Kind of disappointed in the smoke area. You got a little bit more than I did. And still not a lot, so let's go ahead and move into the pour. Um, I have a new uh, New Belgium fat tire glass, and he has the, the uh, Ben Franklin uh, God improved God exists because beer is good. Beer. Yeah, yeah, because beer is good, and God loves us because He invented it. So let's go ahead and pour these. I'm not getting too thick of a head on mine. I kind of poured mine sissy-ish. It's all right. I mean, you can see that. I didn't get much of a head at all either. So uh, let's go ahead and move into the smell test, and then we'll do the, the, the light test. So uh, I'm really getting a sweet smell off of this. You could definitely smell the malts in there, probably a little bit of caramel or toffee. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm smelling. That sweet smell is uh, caramel slash toffee smell. It's pretty much the same. So uh, let's go not ahead. A lot and, of hops. Oh, not definitely not. This is a, a definitely a darker a variety of beer. So let's go ahead and move into the the, the color test. If you can see that, I don't know if you can. Hopefully you can. Kind of reddish. It's got a really shell. nice reddish hue to it. It's. A I gotta say, amber. it's a, it's darker than you'd say for a fat tire or whatever. But uh, I'm really anxious to dig into this because it's got some good lacing. So. Too, but at the very beginning, it it's I, I don't know how to explain it's got it. This some flavor is, in this is very good. I prefer this over any any brown ale anytime. Well, not anytime, it, but it, it kind of resembles to a brown ale. Somewhat. It it, it really does like the moustrel, but it also has a kind of a I don't know how to explain it. It's a different taste. It's not so much overpowering. It's you know it's almost an English style. You know, it's Scotch, I believe. But, uh, I don't know. I, I would definitely day, recommend it. Yeah, I got to go in for another, another sip there, too. That beginning, yeah, there. that beginning is, is definitely, definitely there. The, the ending is not so much, but I like the beginning of this beer. It is just hitting me perfectly. You know, it's it's springtime around here, so this is a good, you know, in, in between winter and spring. Definitely, because I would yeah. say it's not a it's it, not a winter. Yet, no, it's, it's it, not a summer. Yeah, yet. it's not too heavy for winter, but it's not too light for for uh, excuse me for summer. De and it definitely, if you're looking for a beer pack with flavor, I'll go with this. Yeah, this is definitely a must. But uh, so, I'm Tommy. And I'm Tommy. This has been another fours and fives beer review.